Hello everyone, it's Wednesday the 19th of October. It's day three of Spookathon and I thought I'd give you a little update as to how I'm doing with all the creepy spooky thrillery novels and how my TBR has actually changed slightly. It's the same TBR but the challenges have changed depending on the actual book. So let's get into the book. So I have already finished The Woman in Cabin 10. I read this on Monday. All of it on Monday. The whole lot. Not in one sitting because I had to go to work but I read it a bit in the morning, I read a bit at lunch and I read the rest of it at night. So day one went pretty well. I completed the first book which was my 2016 read. I have then started two other books which is this one, The Salem, Salem Witch Society by Kay and Shields. Originally this was going to be my one with a paranormal character but I don't think there's any paranormal characters in it. So now it's just going to be my thriller and I am on page 180 of this book. It's really good actually um, and I'm really enjoying it and it's set in around 1892 just before the turn of the century, just the, before the 20th century came into being and um, there are scenes obviously during the Salem Witch Trials but um, the most of it is set in 1892. It's a really really nice read, enjoying that one. The next one was going to be my book with red on the cover and that's Stephen King's Bizarre of Bad Dreams. However this has now become my book with a monster in it or a paranormal character in it because the first book had a paranormal car in it. What is it with Stephen King and killer cars? I've read obviously Christine and From a Buick 8 and now my lady one first story in this is about a killer car. I think he has a one track mind sometimes but I do love that mind. So that has now become my book with a paranormal character in it because I'm pretty sure there's going to be more than just a killer car which is a monster right? Now my book with a spooky word in the title is Still Fear the Darkness by Becky Masterman. I haven't started this one yet. I've, with the Stephen King I've already read the first story so I'm on page 50. I plan to read a couple more of those stories tonight so I haven't started this one yet and um, The Bone Thief is now my book with red on the cover. Blood. And I haven't started that one yet but I'm hoping to get to those pretty soon. I estimate that I will read probably finish the Salem Witch Society tomorrow. Um, Stephen King I will just read through and then Friday I will be starting Becky Masterman and then that just gives me Saturday and Sunday to finish off whatever's left. I fully intend to read all five of my books um, and like I said I've read the first one already. I will obviously do a full wrap up at the end or probably on Sunday night if I finished everything. Um, maybe on Monday if I haven't but that's how I'm doing with Spookathon so far. I mean I've got to read in between work and rehearsals. Did I mention I'm rehearsing a show? Did I mention that I'm doing Weird Sisters? Did I? Just a few at the Dolman in November? I, I did. I told you did I? Oh, okay. Well I'm just reminding you in case you wanted to come and see it you know. It's on in November at the Dolman. I'm in it. I'm playing Nanny Hogg. And it's going to be fab. But that's my spookathon so far and I've got my spooky black lipstick on and I actually quite like it. I've never worn it before. Nah, I like that lipstick. I'll be wearing that again. So that's my spookathon. I hope that you're doing well if you are doing the spookathon challenges. I hope you're reading lots of really really creepy spooky books. If you are, leave me some recommendations. I've done again. Leave me some recommendations down in the notes below because you know, comment. I want more scary books. I love scary books. I love ghost stories. I love horror stories. I love thrillers. I love chillers. I'm not particularly interested in gore. I don't mind vampires. I don't want vampire stories that are full of sex. I just, I want horror, plain and simple. So I want thrillers that scare you. I want real, really scary horror novels. So you know what I like? Stephen King, Hex. I like Dean Koontz. What's the other one? Clive Barker. All those sorts of people. Give me some recommendations of what I should read down below and I will probably at some point pick them up. So I hope you've liked it. If you've liked this video obviously give me a comment, like, share and of course subscribe if you're not already subscribed because I really do appreciate all the subscribers. I will see you soon with one of my usual features. I don't know what that'll be. Uh, I've got my Marilyn Spotlight coming up and obviously I'll be back with another Spookathon update fairly shortly. So 
get on with your spooky reading, and I will see you soon in your nightmares. <laughs>